Hey everyone, today we're going to continue the genetics part of T's and we're going to focus on DNA replication first and then we'll move on to transcription and translation. Now I do want to note here that I'm skipping some of the content, right? So for example, the basic structure of DNA, the two complementary strands and how they're connected right through that hydrogen bond. So all that basic information is covered by the previous T6 for this lesson. So I highly recommend that you review that video first and then come back here to know the updates in T7 about this uh, lesson. All right, so DNA replication is a new topic in T7. So we just need to go over very quickly the replication process. But first of all, you know that DNA consists of two strands, right? And then the two strands um, are synthesized based on this complementary base pairing, right? C pairs with G and a pairs with T. So that's actually three hydrogen bonds and then two hydrogen bonds between A and T. So when you copy each DNA molecule, first there will be an enzyme that will split the two strands. So it's going to start here, split the two strands, and this way the two strands are accessible by the DNA polymerase, which is the enzyme that can synthesize a new strand. So each new strand will be produced using one of the old strands as a template. Okay, so this is what happens. This is the parent DNA. We're going to make two new DNA molecules. We're going to use the one as a template to synthesize the first DNA, the, to synthesize the first daughter DNA. So we have G, G, T, C, A, A here, right? So we're going to use that as a template. Same sequence here. And now the purple is the new strand. And we just need to do the base pairing, right? And that will be the sequence for the new strand. G pairs with a C, same here. And T pairs with A, C pairs with G, and da 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 da. So you know that this, so the sequence for the new strand will be C, C, A, G, T, T. And the same thing for the other strand, the green strand. So we're going to use that as a template. And the enzyme will know that when there is a C, it's going to put a G in that position. If there's an A, it's going to insert a T, right? So again, you know, that's how the enzyme synthesizes the new strand. Now, you probably have noticed that for each new DNA molecule, half of it is old, right? See, there's this, this old um, red strand and this old green strand. But half of it is new, right? The purple is new. This is why we call DNA replication a semi-conservative process. Semi means a half, right? Conservative, you're retaining that old uh, information. So for each new DNA, half of it is old, half of this is new. So that's a semi-conservative uh, replication. Again, you just figure out the sequence uh, for the new strand, based on the template sequence, right? And then you just do the base pairing. Okay, here's a practice question. Why we use a phosphorus isotope? Remember, one of the three components in each nucleotide is a phosphate, right? So you can use a phosphorus isotope to mark the parent DNA and see how much isotope you end up with in each of the new DNA molecules. Now, because each new DNA has half of the parent DNA, you would expect to see half of the marked isotope in each of the new green molecules. So correct answer is B. Next question.
So this question is about figuring out the sequence of the complementary strands when you are given a template strand. So this is the template strand sequence, and you just need to do base pairing, right? So G pairs with a C, T pairs with A. So which one's correct? C, 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 G, A, G, T. So D is the correct answer. Now, I want to point out one very important aspect of DNA replication. I recently heard about this from a student who took T7. So apparently T7 um, may ask you about the direction of the strand when you determine the sequence of the complementary strand. So what do I mean by that? Now, you know that DNA strands have directions, right? And then the two strands are anti-parallel. If one starts from three prime, then it will go from three prime to five prime. And then the other strand will be anti-parallel to that, which means it's gonna be the opposite. So it's gonna go from five prime to three prime. Now, if you don't know what three prime, five prime mean, definitely go back to that T6 video on this topic. Um, I explained the, the direction of the two DNA strands. Okay, but over here, just remember the two strands are kind of like the two lanes of um, a road, right? They go opposite directions. Okay, now normally DNA replication um, will go from three to five. So if this is the template strand, the enzyme will read the DNA strand from three to five in that direction. So hopefully the sequence that TS provides will have three to five. Okay, so um, just want to point out, make sure you're familiar with the direction as well. And then always remember that the two DNA strands have to go the opposite direction. So if you see one that goes from five to three, then the other one has to go from three to five and vice versa. With that, let's do a couple more practice questions about the direction. So this is uh, question one. During DNA replication, DNA polymerase, which is the enzyme that replicates DNA, reads the O strand in three to five direction and synthesizes the new strand in five to three, right? Because the new strand has to be anti-parallel to the old strand. So it will go in the opposite direction, which is five to three. And this is true for DNA transcription as well, right? If you have a DNA strand and you're gonna use that DNA strand to synthesize mRNA, the enzyme will read the DNA strand from three to five, and the new mRNA strand will be synthesized from five to three. All right, next question. Now, with this question, the easiest way to just do the base pairing first and then figure out the direction and then look through the answer options and see which one is the same as what you come up with. So when you do base pairing, that would be C, 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 G, A, G, T, right? And these two strands should be anti-parallel. They run opposite directions. So that means the new strand should be from five to three. There you go. So just look for this new sequence in this direction in the answer choices, which is D, right? So D is the correct answer. There you go. That's the end of DNA replication. And I hope this um, lesson is helpful. Um, 
So please feel free to subscribe, like the video, and leave me a comment, especially if you have any questions. And please share the video. Um, I appreciate all your support. All right, I'll see you next time.